me in studio is Professor Sean Davison. Now, he recently revealed that he helped his friend Dr. Anrik Berger die at a hotel in Cape Town. Hello. Good afternoon. How Pleasure are you? to be here. Yes, good. Thank you for being here with us. Now, you recently revealed that you helped your friend Dr. Anrik Berger die um, in a hotel in Cape Town almost a year after it happened. What, why did you decide to reveal this now? I was attending a forum in Chicago, mm -hmm. the World Federation of Right to Die Societies. At these forums, people bring their personal stories. Mm -hmm. It's a way of finding out what's happening in the world, in the real world, yeah. and finding the challenges and the way we can seek to change a law. So I was sharing my story like many others did too. Wow. Now can you introduce us to the relationship you had with Dr. Berger, um, starting out with how you met? Sure. Uh, Dr. Berger first contacted me because of my involvement with the organisation Dignity mm -hmm. South Africa. He wanted to show support for the organisation. As a result of that contact, we became very, very good friends. Mm -hmm. I used to visit him regularly at his estate where he lived in Pau. I'd take him for walks in his wheelchair. I'd push the wheelchair around the estate and then we'd finish with games of chess and maybe watch sport on TV. Yeah. He's a wonderful guy. Uh, he had a full life before his accident. Yeah. In the car accident, he broke two small bones in his neck and it destroyed his life forever. Prior to that, he loved sport, mountain mm -hmm. biking, jet boating, very physical outdoor guy. But his most defining attribute was his incredible kindness and compassion. Mm -hmm. One of the kindest guys I've ever met. Wonderful guy. Well, as you said, he sounds like a very. He sounded like he was a very physical man. How how did that change after the accident? Well, the accident left him as a quadriplegic, mm -hmm. totally unable to move his arms and his legs. The life of a quadriplegic is unimaginable. It's indescribable. For an able-bodied person, we just cannot imagine it. It is absolute horror. He used to describe it to me as best he could. It was terribly undignified. Mm -hmm. He used to describe his most undignified days, and they were just, just excruciatingly embarrassing and undignified. You can only imagine it. But for Dr. Berger, in addition to the undignified life, his body was wracked with pain. In the context of a quadriplegic, it's called neuropathic pain. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Berger was a medical doctor, he knew all the remedies available to relieve pain. He had tried them all. Nothing had worked. He was an optimist. He was prepared to give life a go as a quadriplegic. But to be a quadriplegic and in pain was unbearable for him. Is this why he wanted to die? He then started talking about his desire to die. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was desperate to die. What makes a life worth living is subjective and specific to an individual. Mm -hmm. What is satisfactory for one person may not be satisfactory for another. For Dr. Berger, Anrik Berger, life was miserable. He was desperate to die. When he talked about dying, what, what kinds of things would he say? Well, he initially had it in a very calculated way. Mm -hmm. He wanted to go to a Dignitas clinic in Switzerland mm -hmm. where people can go to die. He told me about that plan. He asked me would I come with him. And I agreed to do that as a friend. Uh, as a terrible journey to go to your death and to have a friend with you would make it e easier. Yeah. In fact, I even went to Port Elizabeth to visit his mother to talk about it. And she also was prepared to let him die out of incredible love for her son. Mm -hmm. She knew he was suffering terribly and she was prepared to let him die out of her love for him. Anyway, the, the planning for the Dignitas Clinic became unbearable for Anrik. Mm -hmm. Planning to die in another country was, was horrible. Yeah. And then he decided he wanted to die in South Africa. He was South African. This mm -hmm. is his home. He wanted to die at home. 